Mindy Mesmer is a candidate for Congressional District 1 in the state of New Hampshire. She's a tenacious fighter. Mindy Mesmer is a whistleblower. She's an advocate and she's a friend. Mindy Mesmer is the next member of Congress from the 1st District of New Hampshire. I come from a hardworking, middle-class union family. I know what it's like for families to struggle to put food on the table. I've lived here for 33 years in New Hampshire, working as an environmental scientist, until I got involved in an important public health problem in my community. So I met Mindy the summer of 2016. She was working hard to advocate for her community regarding a contamination problem stemming from the Coakley landfill. I never intended to be a politician, but when I identified a cancer cluster in my community, reported it to the officials, and they told me we we're going to take a wait and see approach, I knew that wasn't the right answer. So I blew the whistle on the cancer cluster, and I began to fight for the answers that our community needed. When Minnie Mesmer was elected to the House of Representatives, she arrived in Concord with a sense of purpose. She wasn't deterred by the fact that she didn't have a lot of political experience. What she had is a lot of real life experience. There's an unspoken rule that first term reps are to be seen and not heard. So I went right to work, I put four bills in, and immediately I was told to take them out. I said, you don't know me. She was able to, as a freshman rep, get the Republican Senate Majority Leader to sign on to her legislation. It was amazing to watch the tenacity that she brought to the job. I don't think there was anybody who had more out-of-state lobbyists flown into the New Hampshire Capitol to lobby against her bill. She worked on 41 bills across an array of issues. Let's face it, the middle class is under attack. They need someone that's going to fight for them. Mindy fights for people at the margins. She fights for our environment. She fights for working families. She fights for women. She is out there fighting for all of the concerns that affect men and women of our state. The bottom line is she's the same woman I met two years ago. Mindy won't change. She's going to be the same person when she gets to Washington that she is today, who sits around kitchen tables and listens to the concerns of families in New Hampshire. That's why my campaign is one of only two campaigns in this race that's not taking special interest or corporate PAC money. She will get the job done for us. And I am proud to call her my champion. Whatever you can do, each and every one of us doesn't have to do everything, but everyone has to do something. This is a people-powered campaign, and with your help, we can win this. So you have my vote. Actions speak louder than out-of-state PAC money. Let's take this movement to Washington. I would be so grateful for your vote on September 11th in the Democratic primary.